What's up, people? It's your boy, man. Yo, everybody know me. Know I'm a Knicks fan. Got this bull shirt on because I had some joints at the time that I needed to match. <laughs> but yo, man, let's talk about control today and relationships. Some people take control the wrong way when they say that that they are their partner is trying to control them. This is this is a, a deep topic right here. You know what I mean? See. Some people that's saying that you're trying to control them are meant to be free spirits, right? They are not meant to be with anyone. And I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, they're not. But that's their spirit-wise because their spirit really can't be contained. You understand what I'm saying? They might not notice. If I'm talking to you, you might not notice. But if you have that feeling that you can't be contained or be in a structural relationship or... A disciplined relationship, not like no military discipline shit, but, you know, being disciplined and obedient in your relationship so it can work. See, people get in relationships so knowing that they're going to fail. This is an issue today. People get into relationships knowing they're going to fail. I talk to a lot of people all the time on the go on the fly. Mainly females, you know what I'm saying? They go into relationships pessimistic. Some going optimistic. But when you're in a relationship, you need to have a plan. You need to have structure. You need to have discipline and you, and you need to have obedience. Because the ways of the world can attack you without you knowing it. Right? So... When you're in a relationship, one of the forms and issues that I always hear is, and I went through this too, one of the issues is someone saying you're trying to control them. But control is, it can be uh, uh, different variations of it, right? One form of control that I see, I see is all right, is making sure you and your mate's safety is is always um, priority. You know what I mean? Like, say, for instance, if it's somewhere you don't want your mate to go, you know the dangers of it. You know the temptations of it. You know you know things that could possibly happen. Um, but your mate still wants to go. Um, you know, you talk to your mate. You tell him, look, babe, boo, whatever. Um, you know, I don't think you should go there. I don't think that's a good idea. You know what I'm saying? Some people would say that's a form of control. Because you're trying to stop them from doing something that they want to do. Right? That they want to do. Even though you explain to them why and the pitfalls of wanting to do the certain situation. Right? One would say that's control. When it's just total safety, right? Uh, another form is, let's see. You know that your mate has friends or associates that they think are friends. And, you know, you see that they uh, put invest a lot of time into those friends that you know they don't mean any good to them and you only know that because your mate telling you it <laughs> right so you go off the, the the negative things your mate is saying about those situations but your mate is still giving full energy to these situations and you know you say something about it you say you know you know you just you make a comment on it you ain't got to be too stern on it or whatever and you just make some type of comment, look, damn, you know, I thought you, I thought they was wrong for you. I thought the situation with them is wrong for you. I mean, if you telling me all of this, all the negative things, I would say, why are you still talking to them, right? They will turn around and tell you that's a form of control because it's still something they want to do. You understand? It's still something they want to do. That's a free spirit, yo. I'm telling you, if it's a free spirit, you got to learn how to play it. 
You got to learn how to play it. Male and female. If you're dealing with a free spirit, either learn how to play with it, not play with it, play it, or get away from them. You know what I'm saying? Because a free spirit going to try to do what they want to do. You got to remember that. You got to be the overseer in the situation. You have to be. Somebody has to be. Right? Another form of, of real control is, yo, stay your ass in the house. <laughs> Yo, don't talk to the motherfucking friends no more or, or it's over. You know what I'm saying? I don't want you talking to them. Stay your ass in the house. Um, The, the one I hear all the time is, oh, don't wear that. Like a male to tell his female, don't wear that. Because he know that she it might be a little too revealing. You know what I'm saying? She might just feel like she's being sexy. She, she feels though she's feeling nice. But when you're in a relationship, your 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 isms, your sexisms are supposed to only be for your mate, not the world. You know what I'm saying? That's a that's a whole nother story. You dig? Your sexisms are supposed to be for your mate, not the world. That goes for guys and girls, you know? Um, yeah, uh, don't wear this. I don't like that. You know, so a lot, a lot of females get upset at that. You know, that's that's a free spirit. She want to do what she want to do. It's, it's, she don't want to be that type of female. Don't want, she's not obedient. You know what I mean? And you must have obedience in a relationship, man. You got to, male and female, you got to have obedience, yo. A person to tell, turn around and tell you they respect you, but they not obedient. <laughs> that mean they don't respect you. That's a fact. Listen to the words. Listen listen to how they talk. Watch their movements, man. You're supposed to pay attention to your mate. If you pay attention to your mate and your mate say, well, damn, why you doing that? That ain't your mate. She's for everybody. He's for everybody. You know what I'm saying? But the real topic was the control thing. You know what I'm saying? But we, you know, we party and dance around it too because a lot of things were synonymously with it. You know what I'm saying? So, we're going to dig real, we're going to go deeper into it. You know what I'm saying? Because I got some other raw topics I want to get into about the relationships. Um, But, yeah, just watch your mate, man. Watch your mate. If your mate got something to say about you watching him, yo, something wrong, Houston. It's a problem. You know? And if it's a real problem, you talk about it. And if they, they finicky, yo, you know what to do. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't advise you to go in and, and do the same wrong shit as they doing while y'all still in, under the same hut. But that's what most people do. I advise you to get out the situation. If somebody caught red face, red handed. You know what I'm saying? Get out the situation, man. And let that free spirit be a free spirit. You know? They might not be wrong because they're free spirit, but they might be wrong for you. You dig? Control, control, control. You can't control nobody if you can't control yourself. He can't, or she can't control you if they can't control themselves. You know what I'm saying? So, just take that math today. I know it was a little long, but, you know, it is what it is. This your boy. Peace.